Hi everyone, this is a spotlight on a new feature film that was just released for free to YouTube called I Wish I Were in Polynesia from Morrison Productions. I want to say up front that this film uh, and, and why I think I responded so strongly to it is it's a good example of this type of uh, approach to filmmaking that I've really found myself drawn to lately, which is the meditative, contemplative, and reflective type of filmmaking that takes a very um, naturalistic uh, approach, very deliberate type of pacing, uh, and, and it creates an experience, an immersive experience for us as viewers onto which we can project a lot of our own interpretations and meaning from the, from the images. Uh, I would also point to the two films that I recently talked about on here by Ignacio Santana as a good example of this. Now, I Wish I Were in Polynesia follows a character living in a small apartment in the city, uh, follows kind of his, his daily uh, routine, you know, kind of going off to work, coming back home. Uh, that's, on the surface, that's the, uh, those are kind of the events that provide the structure for the film. But what I found so compelling about it was how it uses these, these kind of mundane, everyday moments and the uh, sense of, you know, the, the crushing routine that I think a lot of us feel uh, it uses that to create a real sense of tension and to also give us a uh, an insight into this into this character. You know, it's partly the relationship between the character and his environment, the character and his job, and the character and his and his routine and his schedule, and how all of this uh, kind of coalesces to create a very vivid portrait of of a person and his uh, and his life and his his situation. Um, it's a very, you know, very uh, rewarding film if, uh, and, and approach to filmmaking if, as a viewer if you can kind of immerse yourself in this and let yourself go with the flow of the images, the pacing, and, and to really reflect on what the director is, uh, is doing with all of these different, different uh, shots and, and different images that he creates. I would, uh, I would also say that in terms of capturing everyday detail, there's, you know, a lot of scenes in this film that take place um, out in the street and have a, almost a kind of quasi-documentary uh, quality to them. So it has a very strong naturalistic approach that I think works very well and adds greatly to the overall effect of the film. Um, so I would... If this sounds like it's of interest to you, I would certainly recommend checking out I Wish I Were in Polynesia. Um, I'll put a link to the film in the description below. And as always, thanks for checking out this video, and I will talk to you later.